Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have our final story from the Chinese fairy book. And this one is one that concerns itself with scholars and halos. And also foxes, just because. This is The Halos of the Saints. The true gods all have halos around their heads. When the lesser gods and demons see these halos, they hide and dare not move. The master of the heavens on the dragon tiger mountain meets the gods at all times. One day, the god of war came down to the mountain while the mandarin of the neighboring district was visiting the master of the heavens. The latter advised the Mandarin to withdraw and hide himself in an inner chamber. Then he went out to receive the god of war. But the Mandarin peeped through a slit in the door, and he saw the red face and green garment of the god of war as he stood there terrible and awe-inspiring. Suddenly a red halo flashed up above his head whose beams penetrated into the inner chamber so that the mandarin grew blind in one eye. After a time, the god of war went away again and the master of the heavens accompanied him. Suddenly, Wan Di said with alarm, Confucius is coming. The halo he wears illuminates the whole world. I cannot endure its radiance even a thousand miles away, so I must hurry and get out of the way. And with that, he stepped into a cloud and disappeared. The master of the heavens then told the mandarin what had happened and added, Fortunately, you did not see the god of war face to face. Whoever does not possess the greatest virtue and the greatest wisdom would be melted by the red glow of his halo. So saying, he gave him a pill of elixir of life to eat, and his blind eye gradually regained its sight. It is also said that scholars wear a red halo around their heads which devils, foxes, and ghosts fear when they see it. There was once a scholar who had a fox for a friend. The fox came to see him at night and went walking with him in the villages. They could enter the houses and see all that was going on without people getting any the wiser. But... When at a distance the fox saw a red halo hanging above a house, he would not enter it. The scholar asked him why not. Those are celebrated scholars, answered the fox. The greater the halo, the more extensive is their knowledge. I dread them and do not dare to enter their houses. Then the man said, But I am a scholar too. Have I no halo which makes you fear me instead of going walking with me? There is only a black mist about your head, answered the fox. I have never yet seen it surrounded by a halo. The scholar was mortified and began to scold him, but the fox disappeared with a hoarse laugh. And that is the halo of the saints, where we learn a little bit more about the Chinese gods, their halos, and boxes. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that if you'd like to help support the podcast, you can always head over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to every story told. Next week, we'll be back with three new tales. As always, thank you so much for listening.